WCDX News, honoring black history with this moment of hidden history. 56 years ago, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. But what you may not know is he gave a very similar speech at Oakwood University in Huntsville. Our Rebecca Petit sat down with a former Oakwood student who was fortunate enough to see and hear the civil rights icon in person. Coming south was uh, a magnificent experiment. Dr. Tim McDonald insightful. moved to Huntsville from Pennsylvania in 1958 to attend what was then called Oakwood College. I had never been south before. I had heard many, many stories about the south, many scary stories for African Americans or colored people as we were called back then. At that time, the civil rights movement was just gaining momentum. Still in its infancy, you know, even though the sit-ins had, had, had happened, and uh, we got worried that many of our brothers and sister students from Alabama A&M were sitting in to lunch counters and uh, theaters and restaurants across the city. We, uh, we weren't allowed to do it. And Oakwood in those days was very, uh, as I said, conservative. So you could imagine his surprise when the 22-year-old found out that the biggest leader of the civil rights movement would be speaking at his school. It was major. I mean, the campus was just on fire that Dr. Martin Luther King was coming to Oakwood. You know, I mean, people didn't even know Oakwood. You know, we were rather a small, insignificant, church-supported college. But to have that kind of... Uh, Notoriety was big, and as a student, we were just pumped. It was, it was fantastic. Oakwood College was the only venue which would allow King to speak. I would say there were upwards of close to 3,000 people there. They were everywhere, inside the gym, outside the gym, all around. Alabama A&M sent their band, and uh, many of the church leaders in town were on the rostrum. On March 19, 1962, a year before Dr. King gave his now famous I Have a Dream speech, he gave a similar speech at the Oakwood Auditorium. Many of the themes that he presented at the mall in Washington, D.C. a year later. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. You can hear on that tape in 1962. So you might say that we were his proving ground for his major speech. McDonald says attending that speech mobilized him and his classmates to push for change in Huntsville, which was still segregated. After that speech, some of us actually defied the administration and went down and sat in. Uh, I remember sitting in at the Woolworth uh, five and 10 cent store cafeteria. We weren't allowed to eat there as blacks. But we went there and we sat in on the lunch counter and, and they wouldn't serve us. But following King's visit, the tide began to turn. Integration in Huntsville came very rapidly. Soon after, within probably, within a year, I would say, I think you could eat anywhere in Huntsville. You could go anywhere, you could stay anywhere, you could ride anywhere. Uh, I think the vestiges of segregation vanished very quickly in Huntsville. Much of it uh, as a result of Dr. King's speech. And on this 50th anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., McDonald says his speech. Now is the time <laughs> to make justice a reality for all of God's children. Is as relevant today as it was in 1963. I think a lot of that has been accomplished, but we still have a long way to go before we have full equality and full acceptance by black and whites. For more on this story and other stories celebra celebrating Black History Month, just log on to our Rocket City Now app or website.